is my automatic soap dispenser powered by an Arduino Nano. So here we have a very large servo that can pretty much cut your finger off if you get it in the wrong spot. And up here is a little IR sensor. Now this has a... Ah. Ah, no, no. Ah. Oh, I should probably disconnect the servo so it doesn't keep going off when I don't want it to be. There we go. So this is the IR sensor. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, it won't set it off. And basically, when an object comes in close proximity, it will send data out one of, or it will pulse uh, light frequencies out of one of these LEDs, and it will reflect off of the object and go back into the receiver LED. And if it does bounce back, you can see there's a little red LED at the bottom here, and that lights up when I put my finger close to it. And then there's this little potentiometer here for adjusting the sensitivity of it. And right now I have it perfectly adjusted so that when if you open the blinds in our bathroom, it won't set it off. And yes, sometimes light does set this thing off. I'm not quite sure why because I don't know how it's detecting light anywhere because it should be detecting um, proximity of things, but I'm not sure how sometimes even turning the light on in the bathroom will set it off. It's very strange. So yeah, anyways, this servo here I got pretty recently actually from uh, one of our hobby stores nearby. And I tested it out a couple days ago and I just discovered that it was instantly crazy strong. Like this thing could pretty much obliterate anything that's in its path. So. I thought, oh, it would be really smart to hook it up to a soap bottle to see what it can do to it. And yes, I accidentally did break the um, top off of this one originally a while ago when I was first making this prototype with a strong servo like this. So it is very much capable of pulling the top off of a soap bottle. So basically that's pretty much it for the hardware. For the code, it's pretty simple actually. It's basically just detecting if there's an object here. If there is, it will slowly rotate the arm or wheel on this thing uh, towards the bottle, pulling this wire, piece of wire here, down, which will pull this pump of this thing down, which will pump soap out. And after, I think it has a 500 millisecond delay, it will um, slowly let it go back up, which will um, allow the pump to go back up and then it's ready to be pumped again when you put your hand in there. I had some trouble with it uh, where it would just constantly get set off and I think I wasted like half, more than half of the bottle trying to get that to work. This was almost fully, completely full when I first started and now it's getting pretty close to empty. So it took a lot of experimenting to get this right, but eventually I did and it works pretty well now. So yeah, you might be wondering what this tan wire is doing here, trying to blend in with this tile stuff. And well, it doesn't blend in because that's the only wire I had that was long enough to power this. So no, this is not run on batteries, it is actually plugged in. And because my bathroom here does not have a single outlet in it, I had to hardwire it into another room. So I'll show you where this wire goes. So we start here. This goes directly to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino, so it can run the servo easily and the Arduino. And if you follow this, it goes down the side of the cabinet, back behind this thing here. See, it keeps going along the floor, out the door. It runs along the door here. Then it goes out here, because I could only fit it there. So it continues over here. Goes under the carpet a little bit goes over here and goes under this door. Comes in from there, up this wall, and by the way this is in my room, and goes to this makeshift USB to other cable thing adapter that was soldered together and wrapped in tape, and goes to this hanging extension cord this, <laughs> that goes to this USB uh, adapter here. And this thing runs lights that are above in my room. Um, so yeah, that's why it's hanging here, but it was perfectly convenient because it was just sitting here and I was like, oh, I can use this. So, well, yeah, that's what I did. So yeah, 
that's it for now. Remember everyone, stay clean and build soap dispensers. Yeah. Thanks for watching.